Hey guys, welcome to Effort with Ruthie, food, fashion, fitness, and fun. This week is all about the fashion, and I wanted to talk to you guys about three trends that are pretty hot right now. Um, the Peplum, Oxblood, and the Peter Pan collar. So to start, the Peplum has been around since probably the 1800s, comes and goes. I love it because when I wear the pe a Peplum top, I feel super girly, super fun, it's just a girly top. Like, you just feel super girly in it. Let me just show you an example of my peplum. This is my peplum shirt. And you can see where the seam cuts off, which makes it peplum. It kind of flares there at the bottom. And at the back is just this cute zipper. You could get peplum dresses peplum jackets and peplum shirts. I actually have a peplum dress just to show you an example. This is a peplum dress which I think is just so flattering. It's The peplum is meant to accentuate the narrow waist and curvier hips. So yes, that is the peplum top which I I'm totally rocking this season. This trend is for me. The next trend I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Peter Pan collar. If you think about schoolgirls, uniforms, innocence, that's the Peter Pan collar, which I don't like because when I think about the Peter Pan collar, I feel like something's choking me because every time I see them, they're like up to here and I really prefer more of an open neck. And the P Peter Pan collar is like up here. I'm going to be get it real quick and show you an example of the Peter Pan collar on my phone. Because I don't actually own a Peter Pan collar. If you can see that, rounder edges. This is actually a collar that someone could, you could seriously just buy a collar and put it on anything. Instead of, like if you didn't want to buy a shirt, you could just buy a collar. So this is the Peter Pan collar. This is like a beaded one that is literally like a necklace. A lot of people do stuff like that. Um, so yes, that's the Peter Pan collar, which again is awesome. And it's one of those trends that I look at other people in and I'm like, that's beautiful. That's so cute. And it's for all ages. It's for older women and younger women and it looks beautiful. But I just don't like anything that's choking me literally a trend that's been around since the 1900s and it's black and it's hot so if you guys have peter pan co uh, collars in your closets please hashtag me on instagram peter pan collar in my closet at ruthie ridley i want to see i want to see maybe you guys can inspire me to wear one one day that's not so choking another thing is you'll find some of the peter pan collars prepare and they overlap and some of them don't they give you like more of a space so yeah, that's the Peter Pan collar. And then the third trend I wanted to talk to you guys about is ox blood, which actually means oxygenated blood, which I thought it meant oxen blood, but it's oxygenated blood, which is the color of blood when it hits the air, basically, um, which is actually very close to what I'm wearing right now. This is um, a version of ox blood, as well as like my nails and the dress I held up before. Just this rich, deep red is oxblood. It is the unofficial color of the season. Like, this is it. This is where it's at. Um, personally, this is the only thing I own in my wardrobe that is oxblood, um, along with my nail polish. If I were to go out and buy more oxblood colored items, I would do accessories or shoes so I would do a bag most definitely would love an oxblood bag or I would do shoes I would love some oxblood blood booties or boots or heels pumps hot but as far as just like the head to toe look which again it's one of those things I look at people and I'm like dang that is so hot but I just, I maybe wouldn't pull it off because it's one of those things that it's like, oh, she wore that. Like, yes, it's not something you could wear, like, often without people being like, oh, yeah, she just wore that. And I like to just buy things, again, mm -hmm. that, you know, you can just, 
exchange without people knowing like black like my color is black love black anyways enough of that rant oxblood so yeah color of the season if I were to do it I would totally do a dress like this for a wedding but day to day I would totally rock any kind of accessory so yes that is it again if you guys have any oxblood in your closet I want to see I want to be inspired hashtag me on Instagram oxblood um, at Ruthie Ridley. That would be awesome. I want to see. I want to be inspired. And that's it. That's my fashion spiel of the month. Just so you guys know, every week I'll be posting what I call a fashion inspiration. So um, I'll be posting an outfit that I sort of put together on the blog to inspire you, to inspire me, um, to try different things. Um, so yeah, be sure to look on the blog this week though for all kinds of examples of Oxblood, Peter Pan Collar, and the peplum. Alright guys, till next time, take care.